Hey guys, so in my channel today we're gonna learn how to do DIY knuckle rings. It was so much fun to make these so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay, so here's what you'll need. You'll need gold beading wire, side cutters, needle nose pliers, round nose pliers, and a round small container like the width of your finger. And we're good to go. Okay, so with this first ring, we're gonna take about this much and use our side cutters to cut it. And I'm gonna get my round container and uh, shape the ring around it. And we kind of want the ends to overlap kind of like this. Okay, so it should look like this. We need to take it off. And we're gonna put it on our finger to better adjust it. So the front should look like this. Uh, with the two lines and in the back it should look like this. We don't want the ends to be poking at us so we're gonna take our uh, round nose pliers and create loops. take our needle nose pliers and kind of close the loops off like this. And yeah, that's pretty much for the first ring. It was very simple and a lot of fun to do and it's very easy and um, yeah, it should look like something like this all around the finger and honestly, you guys will have so much fun making these. Okay, so with this second ring, we are going to take our small round container and wrap the wire around it so we can get an idea of how uh, many spirals, I guess, um, our ring should have. And um, I think I did it around like three times. And then I'm just going to cut off the end like that. And now I'm adjusting the um, wire around my finger. Now I'm taking the needle nose pliers and I'm kind of slanting the ring so that when I place them, it will look um, like that in the back. And then we don't want the ends to be poking at us, so I'm going to take my needle nose pliers again and kind of slanting it away. So we don't want the ends to be poking at us, so we're going to take our round nose pliers and create loops. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So this one is probably going to be the hardest one out of the three because it is kind of like a two-in-one ring. So for this ring, we're going to take a lot of wire just to be sure and I'm just shaping it um, right down the middle of the wire around my uh, finger and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slant the first part and I'm going to curve it like this, kind of like a V shape a rounded V shape and you're going to place it on your finger again just to see how it would look. So with the round nose pliers we're going to curve it and um, we're going to take the other side and let it overlap, not really technically but like underneath it should overlap. So on the other side we're going to do the same thing and create that rounded V shape. So 
I forgot to videotape this part, but make sure that from the back, the right side, sorry, the right side should curve downwards, and then the left side should curve upwards. So it should look like something like this in the back. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You just loop the ends. Uh, what I did is I looped the ends outwards. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this ring. So here are all the rings that were made in this video. I hope you guys found it really simple and easy to learn and I do hope you guys have fun making these as well and yeah so that's it for this video. I hope you guys loved it. So comment down below if you guys want to learn how to make these ones. There's the infinity and the heart and the love. Uh, it's more complex and more into detail so let me know if you guys want to learn how to make these.